Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mick. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on custom collection view layouts. In this video, you're going to learn how to use a container view and view clipping so that you can extend the bounds of the image view beyond the bounds of the cell and therefore remove the unwanted white space left by countering the cell rotation. Here's what the app will look like when you finish this video. The image view now appears to fill the entire cell and the unwanted white space left by rotating the image view in the opposite direction to the cell is now gone. The image view currently has the same width as the cell. So when it's rotated in the opposite direction to straighten it up, unwanted white space appears down the left and right edges. And the best way to remove this is to use a container view and to take advantage of view clipping. By adding a container view to the cell that extends beyond its bounds and then moving the image view into that container view and sizing it based on that instead of the cell, the unwanted white space will disappear. And because a cell clips its subviews by default, the parts of the container view that extend beyond the bounds of the cell will never be seen by the user. So here's the sample app as at the end of the challenge from the previous video. And you can see that now we've rotated the photos back the opposite way to the rotation that's applied to the cell. We get these straight edges down each side of the cell. And this is because the width of the image view is the same width as the cell. And it's a little bit easier to see if I jump over to the view debugger. And you can see that get rid of some of the noise zoom in a little bit you can see here's our cell and here's our image view and the, the, the white space comes from here because this is the left edge of the image view containing the photo and here's the left edge of the cell and what we want to do is get rid of this space here and again on the other side so if we stop that and jump back to our project and most of the work that we're going to be doing in fact all the work we're going to be doing in this video is going to be in the storyboard so with the storyboard open i'm just going to close the project navigator and the first thing that we're going to do is to create our container view which we're going to then move the image view into and then apply some view clipping and that'll get rid of the space so if we find just a basic ui view and drag that onto our cell it's better to do it in the document outline because you need to place it above the image view like that and then if we just click it to rename it and we'll name this container and then using the pin menu first of all we want to make sure that the top and bottom spacing is referencing the tutorial cell and then we want to make sure as well that we uncheck constraints and margins now the top and bottom space we want to set to zero but the trailing and leading space we want to set to minus 40 and now if we update the frames to items of new constraints and click add for constraints you can see now that we've added our container cell to our view and it's much wider than the cell itself and you can see this by the auto layout guides so the next thing we want to do is select the image view and then using the resolve auto layout issue button under the selected views heading we can just clear the constraints and this is a really quick way to clear any layout constraints on any selected views and then we need to drag the image view in the document outline into the container so then it becomes a sub view of the container rather than the cell and once we've done that we can now re-add some constraints so again using the pin button we want to make sure that the leading and trailing are both set to zero and then we want to set the height to 200 and again update frames to items of new constraints and click add three constraints and then the final constraint we want to add if we click the align button is the vertical centering container and again update frames and add one constraint now the final change we need to make before we can build a run again is select the container view and then in the attributes inspector we just want to check clip sub views and now if we build and run you'll see that the white space that we had down each side of each cell has now gone and the image appears to fill the entire cell. 
And that's it for this video tutorial, and as always, we like to leave off with a challenge. The image view is now clipped to the container view, which removes the unwanted white space from the left and right sides of the cell. But ideally, the cell should extend the full width of the collection view so that you can't see any of its four corners. Now, we can't change the size of the cell itself because of the gotcha we covered in the previous episode. But since the container view already extends beyond the bounds of the collection view, you may not need to. Your challenge this time is to prevent the cell from clipping the container view and to also add a gradient overlay to the cell which will help the text become more legible. As always, you can find all the details in the challenge document, but do be sure to give this a go yourself first before reaching for the solution. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.